back to the full stop ink channel for another video today's video is a last minute diy for the holidays well it's last minute to you guys but it is not something you need to make last minute this video is in collaboration with tot from totally tot um i will leave all her socials and blogs down below we teamed up to create this beyonce inspired blazer dress that she wore to the premiere of the lion king absolutely spectacular it sparkles it shines the skirt is detachable um so enjoy starting off i picked up a blazer a man's blazer from the thrift store um i tried to get it a little bit oversized so that i can have that fit for a actual blazer dress but if you want to wear this to like be like an actual jacket you could get something that's closer to your size and it was only $5.99. Next, I went to some fabric stores and I got some beaded um, lace, um, some beaded appliques, and some sparkle tool. As you can see, I've already fitted the blazer onto Tot, and I'm just going through with my marker chalk, and I'm just going to outline where I put those pins so that I can remove the pins and go and seam rip everything and cut where I need to cut. Um, I don't have a lot of footage of me seam ripping, but you guys have seen me seam ripping many times before. I went ahead and removed the sleeves from the jacket so that I can be able to take everything in individually and then reattach the sleeves to the jacket. Once I done that, I went with my marker chalk just to redefine the lines that I put earlier. And I am going to cut away at the shoulders because they was a little bit boxy on tots. So I just want to soften up the shoulders just a tad bit um, to give it more of a relaxed look. And I do that to the front and back, cutting, cutting them individually. Um, with man's blazer, there's always so much tailoring and interfacing and... Um, so much stuff going on underneath the seams that it's really difficult to cut through i'm going to take the piece of the piece that i cut away from the one side of the shoulder and i'm going to use it to measure out where to cut on the other side of the shoulder so that everything is as even and um as even as possible and i do that with the front and the back of the shoulder seam Next up, I go and redefine my lines on the sleeves. The sleeves are easier to cut because I don't have to cut through so many layers of interfacing, shoulder padding, as well as lining. Once I have cut away at the first sleeve, I'm going to pin this together where I can go back and sew a new seam right sides together. And I sew that all together with the lining as well as the outside um, fabric of the sleeve. And then I take the piece that I cut away from the first sleeves and I use it as a template tracing where I cut matching up the seams and using that where I cut so that I can get um, a perfect cut on each sleeve that is symmetrical. Once I've done that, I go I go in and fold over the lining um, so that the lining is has like a nice clean smooth finish and I just do a simple stay stitch if you have a um, serger 
or you can use the zigzag stitch on your sewing machine to finish off all of your edges since the fabric does fray quite a bit with the lining and the actual shell of the blazer. I also sew down the armhole of the sleeve, um, making sure that the lining was folded over and again giving a stabilizing stitch to make sure everything, all the layers was in place before I reattach the sleeve to the jacket. Once I have sewed both my uh, sleeves, I go through and do a stay stabilizing stitch, which is basically a stay stitch around the perimeter of the armhole of the blazer, just to secure and lock all of that interfacing and padding into place so nothing is sliding and moving around while I'm reattaching the sleeve. As well as it helps me to mark where to sew when I add the sleeve so none of this on um, the raw edges and everything is showing on the outside of the jacket. I go ahead and clip the sleeve and the jacket together making sure that the jacket is inside out and the sleeves is right side up. I'm inserting the sleeve into the jacket, pin that all around and then I'm going to do a basic stay stitch around the perimeter of the armhole. showing you what everything looks like once I am done sewing the sleeve back to the jacket and how clean it finishes look there's no um, raw edges or no fray edges poking out everything is seamless together now I'm going to take this beaded applique that I got from Amazon I'm going to leave the link below um, you can always purchase um, lace appliques at your local fabric store um, or craft shop I'm going to cut that down the middle because I'm going to use each half of this applique on different sides of the blazer and you could just see me here i am playing around with the placement of the applique i'm um, trying to figure out where i want to put it how i want it to look um i knew from beyonce's blazer that i didn't have enough appliques or the time to to make the blazer entirely covered in appliques but i did want to make it quite a bit of a statement so i knew i wanted to make the appliques a focal point so again, I'm just moving around and playing with the placement and um, seeing how I want everything to fall, whether I want it to follow the shape and curve of the body or I wanted to give it more of a corseted look. And I, whatever I do on the right side, I do it on the left side. Once I have found um, a liking of where I want to place, I'm going to cut off the mesh. Um, don't worry about trying to get as close to the mesh as possible with these big scissors. I do go back in with smaller embroidery scissors to cut away as the mesh as well as we will be painting over this white mesh with black paint to hide as much of it as possible. Um, I also have this beaded lace trim that I said I got from a local fabric store and I'm going to I cut it in half because it was like double um, mirror image and I cut it in half and I'm going to use that to create like a boarded hem along the hem of the blazer just for a little added detail as well as to help um, make things pop for the skirt of the blazer dress.
I go around the perimeter of the blazer and just pin down where I want the lace trim to fall. I do allow the lace trim to hang off the, the scallop details to hang off the blazer just a bit, just to add a little bit more fun and contrast and give it a, just a, like a, I don't know, an upscale look for when the skirt is removed, you still have that contrast of the lace hanging over. And this is just a close-up of me showing you what everything looks like. And you still get a little sparkle and a little some little glitz when the light hits it. Next up with the beaded appliques, I'm going to use either a no-sew glue or a jeweled glue. Um, either one works fine. One is just more permanent than the other. And I am going to take my time and I'm going to bead down the appliques, the stone parts of the appliques and not the mesh and I go section by section pressing down as I go pinning things down so that it's able to stay again I am gluing down the stone and the sequence part of the applique, not the mesh itself and try to be as careful as possible. Um, the no sew fabric does dry white. Um, and it is going to be able to see. You will be able to see it with the black um, fabric. Um, so I go in with some invisible thread. And I'm going to firmly secure the appliques down to the blazer the glue works but if you want a long-term um, stay or wearability you need to hand tack down the lace I mean the appliques at least ar around the bigger stones and the perimeter of the smaller stones and this part does get pretty tedious but it is important to do if you want your appliques to last long on your blazer or your jacket or anything that you're putting them on And once I have done that, I'm going to go in with those smaller, finer scissors, like I told you. And I'm going to remove as much as the white mesh as possible. Get as close to those appliques as possible. Making sure not to cut any thread. Just cleaning it up so that it is less for me to paint. Once I've done that, I go back in with the glue just to secure any of the appliques that has popped up. And then I'm going to use some black fabric paint and a small detail brush. And I'm going to go in and I am going to glue the white mesh that is still um, surrounding the perimeter of the individual jewels so that it looks like these applications and jewels were pinned down individually and not part of a um, whole collective piece and I sorry not sorry for my camera going in and out of focus uh, the applications were shiny and the camera did not know what to focus on and also say what up to grandma in the back forever presence in my DIYs She's just really being nosy. Next up, I'm going to take some tool. I got these shiny sparkly tool from Joanne. I got about five yards, and I'm just going to do a gathering stitch along the top of the tool. The tool is folded in half, and I just unfolded it, and I'm just going to gather this all together. I don't cut anything until I get it on top to make sure that I have it at the length that I want it to be. And once I'm done a gathering stitch, I'm gonna go by hand and further gather um, up this material so that it can um, easily be pinned around the hem of the blazer dress. You can use as much tool or as little tool as you want if you want a fuller skirt. You definitely can do a few layers um, or you definitely can have more yards of fabric and gather it even more. Once I've done that, I'm just going to take my time and pin about um, an inch and a half to two inches from the bottom of the blazer hem, uh, pinning that down. I'm not going to, you can either hand sew it here 
or take it to the machine and sew it but i am going to go one step further and i am going to attach and add some velcro so that the tool of this blazer dress can be detached and so that you can wear it with a skirt or a pair of jeans or leggings to create a whole nother look and i just take the velcro and i just cut it up into pieces and then i just measure it out at the same spot that i had the tool I attach that down you can either hand sew this down or just use a stick and backing and measure that up with the the tool skirt and reattach the other half of the velcro to that one and then uh, voila you have a detached skirt detachable skirt to your blazer dress And once you have done that and you have hemmed your tool, you are done with your blazer dress stylers. Okay, I don't know how. So, oh, I also went in and I, after I attached the Velcro, I went into my lace beaded applique trim. And I went over with some glue and hand tacked that down to make sure everything is secure. And once you've done that, you are done. <laughs>